good enough to take on my new suit. This here, I'm going to talk about targeting and the true nature and the essence of what it is. And what it is, is more like a probably, a possibly. But since a kid, we had an imagination and we relevated our thoughts around sciences thinking we had knowledge. And that knowledge became our reality. And that reality was only knowledge and nothing else, nothing spiritual. They take us to school and it's mandatory, even though God made us sovereign and they tell us we got free will. That's not really what it is, you see. God says that you're sovereign. Nobody can make you do shit. You have an option to sin and you have an option to not, but there's a battle within between the lines of your flesh. Star Wars, we watch movies about this shit and we think it's imaginary, but where does imaginations come from? It comes from a place of reality, a reality we do not know. And we cannot study these things as we try to climb out into space to go inside of a body, a body that we're inside of. And this may sound too intricate for you to understand, But here's a moment for you to take a listen and put it together. Inside the seams of your flesh, there's beings, UFOs, aliens and demons. And these have thoughts and they create the Democratic and Republican Party that make up our internal system and they vote. And those votes rise up out of their minds psionically into our minds. And into our minds, it precipitates down into our brains and a seed is planted and that's the domain. The computer of your brain is what you think out of and that creates the desire for the things you go after. And the things you go after, you go after your impulses, your impulses like electricity, Satan, like the flesh that falls to the earth when that lightning is cut down and man addresses himself in pride thinking that he could do all he can, when really it's a lot different than that. And on the inside, like I said, the two parties, the eternal battle that goes on between your flesh is an eternal battle that happens throughout the generations after we fell, living on this land between the races, in the spaces, voting booths, Democrat or Republican. What is inside is outside also. And these inside forces go at force against one another and it takes action in the flesh. And then we're at each other's necks and we can't see eye to eye. And the all seeing eye is the eye that's with inside of the mind and nobody pays attention to it because we use our brain only. See the brain and the mind are two separate things. Desire is a thing the heart developed first then the brain was developed shortly after that and then we lose consciousness as soon as we get knowledge we eat from that tree and we fall right after look at the symbol and the sign of scholastic it's an apple with the bite mark out of it we get quite narcissistic and that is our pride and we get our iphones and our selfie sticks and it's self-inflicted our narcissism and we take our own pictures then we post them on the internet. We could be at the Grand Canyon, but we only got our face in the frame. Looking in the mirror, seeing no reflection like a vampire. 
It's not the eyes that you see on your face, but the eye with inside of that. And that eye inside of that does not know themselves because themselves as a collective make up your brain. Those thoughts go out into the ether. The whispers on your mind, we call it ELF, electrolomatic frequencies. Those are your thoughts. And if you speak them out loud, they'll call you schizophrenic. Many people don't understand. It's like Einstein and Einstein talked about relativity and relativity, what's happened on the inside will manifest outside also. So there can be no peace outside if there's chaos inside. And that's the world that we're living in. And everybody's selfish looking out for themselves. Every man has a stick and we're freezing to death. We won't put our minds together and put our sticks together to create a fire. And that's the only peace that we can have that reigns from within. But there are several spirits, entities, and dominions and principalities. And this is what the Bible talks about in high places, the altitude that you stand is the height of your brain and the height of your brain and the heart of your mind is the consciousness that derives your thoughts that directs your steps and where you will step selling those drugs we got different territories cops got precincts everybody's looking for us a black man that's chosen one of Israel, we got our identity stolen. And now we always fit the depiction of the description that the cops are looking for. And they beat us down and treat us bad like we were in the 60s. A lot of things are kind of subtle. You see the snake moves around us. And this is the shit that I'm talking about day by day, trying to reach the others. Not the others that I'm trying to reach inside of your brain. See, knowledge could do nothing for us. I'm speaking to those spirits in outer space that's inside of your flesh. The ones that you don't think that you have inside of you. Those thoughts that come into your mind that you don't agree with. Now, how is that possible? And how is not the world all schizophrenic? We think that we are our own when really we're a collective. And you see these spirits are against us. We're at war with everybody, even in, even so our insecurities inside of ourselves. Scared to look at the next man in his eye, not from what he will do, but from what we got inside. And these spirits have feelings and they're strong. And those vibrations, we talk about vibes. This is the stuff that I'm speaking on while I'm sitting in my house drinking down the last bit of my water. I haven't seen my family in a long time. For them, I apologize, I'm quite accountable. That's the best I can do. You see, just like you, a cancer on a tree leaf that devours the whole fruit. That's what they are inside of you and they give you those contracts. And once you sign those contracts, you deliver your mind. Just like Christ was delivered to the cross and then we die in the flesh, but spiritually we move on. Sometimes to the outer darkness, that's what people are trying to reach from the earth because we devoured this planet. We are weeds to this earth. We take from it and we never give back. They take from us and they never give back. They never apologize and they never say they sorry. They never say thank you. All they do is take your energy. So we eat and we eat and we collect all these calories, developing obesity and now we got diabetes. These are the things that kill us along with the cancers, the medications that we solve the symptoms, but the cause we're not after. So nobody is healed and nobody is involved and really our relationships are quite symbiotic. The man and the woman, then it got parasitic. And when it got parasitic, then it got quite selfish. Then people still started going after the same man for man and woman for woman. And then we call pride and pride comes before the fall and now we're in the winter. But I speak these words in soliloquies and it's so vivid. It passes through your ear like light, but nobody can hear me. I move like a ninja. I've been trying to reach y'all for a long time, man. Having a little consideration goes a long way. 
My mother was a great mother. I could tell you that. All of my days, all of my days, even in this disposition that I'm in and I ain't seen her in weeks. And if she hear this, I would just like to tell her that I'm sorry and I love her. We've had some bad times and now I understand what the cause is. You see those thoughts that come onto your mind and break up relationships. It devours us all like a canker or a canker sore. Now we got diseases, diseases broken down, it's dis-ease. We ain't never found comfort. That's what the Holy Spirit is for. That's what God has given us through his son. And people wanna deny him and say that it's fake. And they blind as a bat, they can't see what's around them. The breath of life amongst us, but nobody is breathing. Then it came as a pandemic, we called it COVID. Snatching our breath away, the assassins, and we make movies, and we venerate those that are killers, and we eat our dinners, TV dinners, on a TV tray in front of the six o'clock news. Seeing the homicides, not even batting an eye, twitching a finger, nothing we do. We say we can do nothing about it. Not even looking out for our neighbor. Small things like opening a door. Nobody does it anymore. I feel like I'm here alone. I tell the truth and others are deceptive and they lie all the time. I get beat down a lot on the inside and the outside and I'm still standing strong. And if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die on my feet. Cause I won't bow before no man and not even death can see me. I'm a living entity. People act like they don't know what I am. And that's quite frankly, cause God goes by a higher and a higher means I am. And I am that I am and I will be what I will be. They call me Sam. Dr. Seuss is in my hat, tucked under the rim and nobody can see me. I don't even know how to rap. And look at this wisdom coming down, hitting your head like an epiphany. The symphony comes down, it's so deep, it puts you in a trance and you will go into a trauma. And the truth is revolutionary in a world full of lies. And the lies are like weeds and they grow up like a homicide and choke us out like a snake in the garden of Eden. And now we at different terms, We started out young having lots of friends friends and then when we grow up nobody is even speaking talking about the next man behind their back nobody's even doing fact checks and now we got social engineering and we call it twitter myspace facebook and now we got hackers to everyone's a spy and they ain't even getting paid for it our magazines, our tabloids are filled with those lies along with the fact that we're the greatest and we ain't even nothing. Look at what we did to this earth the same way we did to this earth and we talk about karma and we don't think that that's happening inside of us. Those lies devouring your mind. You sit up there with your dinner plate at a charity in a secret society and you say that I am special but you did not give a single dollar and the dollar that you give, you didn't give out of charity. You gave because it made you feel a certain type of way and gave you notoriety. And now you're a noble part of society and your giving is vain, but we celebrate Thanksgiving and we eating big fat turkeys while niggas sleep on the streets. I think they called those guys veterans. They protected our freedoms, but we're enslaved in our flesh and we're very ungrateful. So, I understand what happened to my mother. My mother is, you know, obviously, you know what I'm saying, older than I. And for a long time, we look at the scriptures and I realize that we don't understand them. We understand them by knowledge. We don't understand them by what's spiritual. And that's the big problem because God has said, that he's concerned with the inner man and the inner man is afraid to talk about how he's feeling. So you see, you walk down the street and you ask somebody, how are they doing? And if they give any answer outside of fine, our eyes just kind of gloss over. 
and we get kind of bored. We're not even merely interested. We just ask the question to be cordial. That's kind of fake. And you pull up to a fast food drive and they give you an auto script. And that's kind of like people running the streets on autopilot. We got clips and banana clips for anybody who's still in our shit. We don't know where it comes from. It just hit the streets. It helps the tax brackets, niggas on top, putting those police forces down against those brothers that are poor. And then we fighting like the Django over that fucking plate that niggas are very wasteful. So these are the things that we talk about. The women are separate. They do their hair and fingernails. They sit back and watch soap operas and they talk real bad about the men. And me, I ain't never cheated no one and on no one. And I ain't in no secret society. And I've been blacklisted by the world to work in the United States and they acting funny with SNAP benefits. Perfectly able-bodied, 39 years old, 40 years a slave, been black all my life, ain't never known freedom that way. But in freedom, I have freedom more than most people have because I acknowledge God and I understand what's in scripture is spiritual. So I see things differently, those things that they can't reach to because knowledge is selfish. It only gives to itself. And just like the dinosaurs or any animal or beast of the field about self-fairs God called this place a wilderness and even though we look human we're all kind of creatures some of us demons some of us tigers some of us some of us evil flat out and in some ways it's more subtle when we go at each other's necks and we have an issue with one another just like everything else that we don't talk about, it's like a big secret society. The things we don't talk about, it's like a growing bubble and communication gets broken down. So when I say things and people hear it, they think I'm being evil, trying to hurt their feelings when really they just sensitive. They ain't really dealt with themselves. They don't even know themselves at all. They just know themselves by their insecurities. That shit ain't my fault. I ain't taking jabs at you. Don't take it personal. I will have to know you better for that. And this is what I've been saying for quite some time. I'm in a zombie apocalypse. Nigga said I'm alive. Said the alive man said never. But someone dead trying to look it. And we out here looking, vain. And everybody in our image mistook it because that image is fake. What happens when your head is full of lies? People give you empty compliments and lots of flattery. Tell you you look good when you got spinach in your teeth. And that could be your best friend that set you up with the murder. Looking for that looking for that promotion, promotion, that business is cutthroat. We can't even trust one another. Just to get a job, we gotta give a DNA sample. 10 years of work history experience and a whole lot of references from people who don't know us. And that's a whole lot of perceptions and perceptions are opinions. And now we got, uh, I forget what you call that shit online, social, uh, the social shit. We got all that social shit, man. Facebook, Twitter, I'm getting old and see now. And people spreading rumors, you know, like I said, I tell the truth. I haven't seen myself. Most people lie. In the Bible, in court, we swear on top of it. And in the Bible, it said, don't take a single vow because tomorrow isn't promised. You can't guarantee anything, but we do it all the time just to save our own ass. And we say that we're a Christian and this is God's country, but it's evident that God doesn't know us. Look at that flag for rainbow pride. And it's about sexual preference when before it was about not bringing water for our destruction. Look at the days of Noah. And we say this antiquated and outdated, not recognizing our blindness. Sometimes I get misty eyed when people ask, we cover up and lie and say it's our sinuses. 
Cause even we know that nobody cares. That's once in a blue moon that we find anyone like that. And these creatures on the inside, these aliens, let me tell you something about them. They only look at us as a food source. These are the weeds that are growing inside of us in the days of our lives to devour our energy. And we keep filling up on them calories and they use it as a heat source. That's why you have to keep eating and to get that true food and to get that true nutrition, you gotta pay top dollar for our lower tax practices. We got GMOs and, ten, and we got GMOs and in 10 years we'll have grasshoppers just like John the Baptist. He was feasting on locusts. And we don't even notice the relativity of the Bible and the things that happened before, even though we say that all things move in cycles and that includes time. Look at the Ouroboros, snake swallowing its own tail. So these are the things that I'm telling you, man. Those voices inside of your head. How can you ever have a single thought that you disagree with if your thoughts are all your own? And how can you have your own thoughts if you don't know yourself? And where the fuck did those insecurities come from but somebody else's insecurity to project it out onto us? Look at how we carry that cross that Jesus told us to carry. And we do it accidentally. And if we ain't aware of ourselves, we garner up enmity. And then we start to hate our neighbors also. 2022 we can't even disagree with each other and we have the nerve to call ourselves woke this is the church age i would say the phase that they call the church age of sardis that's the dead church we have the knowledge of the bible but we don't have the essence of it we're not walking in the power of the spirit we just have knowledge of it a lot of people just have knowledge of God that sit in those pews, but never look for God himself. They were satisfied with religion, so they don't know him in truth. And we line our pockets with this money and this bread. God forbid we look away when somebody asks us for it. Cardboard signs are traumatized every time we drive up the streets. Some of them panhandlers Ain't even poor. You donate to charities just to have your mo the money embezzled out of it. To fill up those uh, mansions and to fill up those, to, to, to build up those mansions of those board members that run these societies that look to be benevolent, but shit is quite different. And when you get rich, you can't help out individuals. You have to donate to foundations. And this is how the masses are controlled. See, realness starts with real people. And I'm saying I apologize, everybody. I done showed up. Where the fuck is the rest of all of you? Y'all were cutting me down. And now it's quite lonely. People going crazy. Buying guns and shooting up buildings. People in secret societies got other plans, ritual sacrifices. What did you have to do to get that dollar? You had to go through a lot of mind control also. See, there's a hierarchy and it's not really about your skill. It's more like the union. It don't matter if you're a jewel or you're good at what you're good at. You'll never get that job unless you kiss somebody's butt. And I just can't do it. And we know about that butt action. That shit got cracking. People went real crazy. And I noticed one thing about people who sin a lot. They eat a lot more frequency. They need a lot more energy. Then their body starts to look a lot different. See, it happens spiritually first. They lose that spiritual girdle. And then we get Lizzo, who promotes the disability of obesity and the diabetes it brings. And there's nothing wrong with being confident in yourself. And quite frankly, for you insecure motherfuckers, don't get it twisted. <laughs> I like thick girls also. But at the same time, you gotta draw a line and always be healthy. 
See, people want to look beautiful and that's why they in the gym. It's not about looking healthy. People worried about counting their sets, counting their calories, going after that image of perfection. And some of these people are not who you think they are. Some people do a million things. These celebrities are so talented. It's like they fill with a million souls. You are tired after eight hours. They are looking very refreshed after working and they haven't had a day off. They ain't got no missing teeth. They ain't got no scars in high school. They ain't never played no football. You ain't never seen these niggas before. You ain't never heard one person on YouTube said, yeah, I grew up with them. Where are their references? The same references you need to get a part-time job that you'll get denied for. Something to think about. People are so absent-minded, so self-absorbed that just they're just becoming more like black holes. And here I am and all the love I give to others and help solve their problems. And all people do is just take, 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 take. Well, that's what a weed does. That's what a weed does. And I just want to say thanks, America, because now that I've made it and I've grown up to this spot, not only the weeds on the inside, the weeds on the inside became the weeds on the outside of my reality and they're gonna devour us all. Nobody will notice because they're too self-absorbed. The weeds on the inside, those aliens and creatures, they're devouring their own food source without doing nothing to replenish it. They don't know nothing about agriculture. And isn't it funny that after they devour their minds and your minds are filled with a head full of lies by learning all of this knowledge, there's nothing left but those creatures and those demons inside of you to manifest and we wonder about these murders and we act confused like we didn't have a part of it, those in those rituals and Masonic practice. That's not even the end of it. How we conduct ourselves and we act amongst one another. You could know somebody your entire life and they could come out quite different. It could almost seem like you never knew them. Not ever before, Edgar Allan Poe, never more. We won't live anymore. We can't go down this road and nobody notices. We too busy worried about drunk drivers. We ain't worried about what's happening around us. We ain't worried about what's happening in our neighborhoods, but we got a neighborhood watch. And what would a neighborhood watch do if the society is blind? An eye for an eye is the way of the world. And that's the way it was in Egypt. And I could see what's going on around me. And they said, love is blind. And that was a lie. What other lies do we have? These are the lies that we rely upon. And when you rely and place your weight on a table that's not there, you wouldn't notice you're falling. So, I say peace and blessings to everyone. For real. The Bible has written to love your enemies. That's why I am slow to anger. I'm more embarrassed to be human. I just look around. Intelligence in other places like other life forms being aliens. I can tell you out of my experience, hypothetically, if I was schizophrenic or if I was Moon Knight, I have to disagree with it. You see, if I eat some food from my house, I know eventually I got to go to the store and get more. They don't do that, and people do much of the same. And you think I'm talking about food in your refrigerator, that's not what I'm talking about. We done came a long way and we so sensitive now niggas can't take constructive criticism. They got a lot of beef. Beef that you can't eat from. This type of beef eats at you. It's the type of beef that can get you killed. We so greedy, we always go into war, but we speaking about peace. 
double-minded. We got cognitive dissonance. We don't even notice that. When's the last time you spent time with your family and had a real conversation? Something besides business. And then that I also apologize to my sister. And in them hearing this, if they're self-absorbed, they'll see it as weakness. But let me tell you something. Anybody that knows me, even in the deep state, will tell you I was all the way right. But I'm taking the higher road because I understand if you went through what I went through psychologically on the inside, I could understand how you was acting. To me, I didn't know what it was. I'm not even a Mason. I thought y'all was doing a whole bunch of secrets. My life is really fucked up. Everybody knows it, but that's a secret also. I'm like a government file. Killing the light. That's what we like to do while we speak about it and have good vibes. The energy we stole from the children. You see, pedophilia comes in many different types. There's a lot of people who like children. In the essence of the word, I'm not talking about like Epstein. It's the joy and the life that they bring. They so jubilant, but something happens as we get older, we become into parasites. Two parasites in a relationship, how is that gonna work out? I can't even go to the gym. <laughs> Niggas get in my way. I be running around like Sonic just trying to get around. They be trying to walk into me. I remember just recently, probably lastly seen around 2016 or 17, white chicks were still clutching onto their purses. I wasn't even remotely paying attention. When they did that shit, I thought it was hella funny. If they knew what family I came from, they might have known I might have came from a little bit more money. I could tell by what they was carrying. Fucking grandma purse, stick your hand in it and lose your fucking elbow. <laughs> Tricks are for kids. I thought them bitches was gonna pull out a rabbit. I was disappointed. Then they get fucked in the ass and niggas start carrying around these little fucking dogs. And I ain't got no beef with little dogs. One of my favorite dogs is the miniature schnauzer. But the way the dog is groomed and everything and how they carry themselves and I see them get into their toy and it's some type of sports car and I'm like, wow. They don't even fuck with the pool. Looks like I'm the only nigga that's still swimming in this shark week. So I don't even deal with the mentals. I done kind of been around. Used to live in Sacramento. Now I'm in a place called Misery. Well, at least how, that's how the country folks say it, but it's called Missouri. But I tell you, they're more accurate. People here so lost, they drive down the street, they can't even drive in a straight line. People walk around and they don't even say hi. And when they do, I don't believe it. They be hella fake inside. Don't waste your time. You know, you and I both don't want to talk to each other. Our first reaction is not like back in the 90s. We go out in public and when we meet eye to eye, our first thought hits us and we're like, fuck. Now I got to say something. I'm just trying to get by. That's just how it is. We don't even want to see our friends. We're not excited to see our neighbor's kids or even any photos in their photo gallery. Everybody's trying to outdo one another. That's hella narcissistic. <laughs> Will you live in a society in a world where people steal from the homeless people and them foundations? How them veterans are treated. How them old folks are treated in them old folks' home. Nobody goes and visit them. 
And I finally, like I've always had a heart, but I really know myself. And I have this joy and love to give. And I don't even got any gas to get to them. But now it's a lot different because we done already had COVID. Shit is a lot different. It's more difficult. If I was a white guy, it would be a lot easier. I wouldn't have to worry about it. But being a black guy, going to a hospital to cheer up some old person's day, I got to fill out like 50 sheets of paper and get a side eye. We know it's the truth. I ain't the one shooting up your buildings. I mean, black people shit. We had a couple shooters, but really it's mostly white people shit blowing up buildings. And then I had a homie named Tim Wilson and Tim Wilson probably got hit up by that deep state. They said he called in a bomb threat. Why the fuck would he do that if he was planning on blowing it up? We keep biting off the Batman movies. How come everybody's turning into Joker? All the kids look like Harley Quinn, talking about their sexual preferences, advertising it, and we're saying we're against pedophilia. Y'all niggas is nasty, get the fuck away from me. I don't even want your daughters anymore, for fuck's sake. I just deal with my five fingers. Kung Fu grip, nigga. <laughs> get that shit done. Rather than deal with some shit, some pussy so crazy, look at Madonna and her boyfriends, that shit'll make you lose your mind. Some say it was hella good, I say nah, I think that shit was hella demonic, I'm scared to go inside, some of them got teeth in there. I'm so well known, I go to a fucking live cam site and the chicks can sense my energy, they spreading it up wide, like listen, I, I don't have any teeth in there. Like they got an insecurity. I don't even log in. I don't put a single token in. I don't got no fucking cryptocurrency. We all know that. That's how strong my energy is. What is other people's energy like? They like vampires. I walk outside and I feel like I'm zapped by the sun. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Motherfuckers used to hate me. Now they want to run up and talk to me. I'm like, I ain't no fucking celebrity. I go by Saint No One. Get the fuck away from me. I'm supposed to be talking about the gospel. I'm supposed to be talking about Christ. I'm supposed to be happy to see you, but I see a little bit deeply. I see beneath the veil. And now I know more than those in those secret societies, even though they'll declare that they know more than me. Seems like I'm solving all of their problems without knowing what their problems is. I can't get a single dime, but now I'm kind of happy about it because I don't really want it. I don't really want to be here. If I had a million dollars right now, I think I'd still be in this apartment, leaving this podcast right now. Because everywhere is the same. There's a lot of beautiful places in the world. I don't even want to see a volcano or a mountain. If I was going to visit some place, I would go and visit the people. Everyone around me got affiliated with some shit and now they all entangled. And they all do the same thing. They point at me and call me crazy, not knowing that they looking in a mirror. And I'm like, I ain't heard from you in years. Fuck happened to you. Now you kind of different. I really don't know you. Like, yeah, we went to school to together. Yeah, I've known you for 10 years. But like, you're not the same. I don't know you. Like, you still look the same though. You looking kind of alien. Something devoured you from the inside. The infinite darkness and the few twinkling stars there is in outer space metaphysically is enough to light up the sky enough for us to see what darkness is. You see, if it was pure darkness, you couldn't see the, your hand in front of your face. And even with a few stars, look at how much we can see. How are you able to physically see darkness? Think about that. How can darkness be seen? How much darkness is there in outer space? How many stars are sprinkled in there? And those few stars and the moon is enough for us to understand nighttime? But there's another type of darkness that nobody sees and it's the darkness that's inside of them. 
That shit that takes over you while we fill up on popcorn and go to these horror movies. There was two movies that was released. One was called X, the other was called Pearl. Two beautiful women on the front and they're both holding axes like they're axe murderers. I know I used to wear it in college, you know, for body odor. <laughs> but now I think we're going too far considering the traditions and the certain type of movements, all the weird and interesting things people are doing. <laughs> and I don't gotta judge anyone, I just make an observation. And if you see it like I see it to get offended, then you are highly ashamed of yourself. That's an insecurity, you don't know yourself at all. What the fuck are you doing changing? Like the seasons, peace and blessings be with you all, I'm out.